Hey guys, I'm gonna try something new. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup in like 10 minutes or less. Um, I have some foundation on my hand. I'm just gonna get started. I obviously prepped my skin. I had a serum um, and a an oil that I put on um, just to hydrate. And if you uh, can notice, my eyes are intense right now with the allergies. Um, from the smoke and also the uh, pollen and stuff. You can even hear it in my voice. So I'm actually going to get a treatment hopefully next week to help my under eyes in the darkness. Um, but a lot of you guys ask me what I use day to day. And so I'm starting with the Juice Beauty foundation and it looks really light, but it's just gonna help brighten up my under eye and around my nose but it blends kind of perfectly into my skin. Like I didn't even put it on my whole face. So it's really like a great brightener that I mixed with the Ilia um, brightener, but this is Bodo Pigments Flawless Foundation and then the Liquid Light. I added a drop of the Nova in just to kind of give me that like luminous dewy look. I have a mirror behind me, so I should have just done one side so you guys can see, you guys kind of saw, but um, I have been doing this and this is a little trick. So if you have to get ready and you're like, I don't have time to do eyeshadow and concealer and all of these steps, you can do your foundation all over and get away with not wearing anything else really. You can, add a teensy bit of blush or something, which I'm going to show you guys, and add that as a lip color. So if you have a lipstick uh, or some sort of balm that's in like a stick or in like a little, um, and this I would say is even more foundation than I normally would wear. I just happened to put it on my hand and it was a little bit much. But as you can see, it took the attention away from my dark circles and that's what I wanna do. Um, I know that I'm gonna be going outside today, so SPF is important. And I also know that I'm gonna take a couple Instagram videos. I kind of planned my day pretty light. I'm gonna have a lunch with Nathan. So, I don't need much. So really, it's been three minutes. I kind of finished my face and I have a big fluffy brush here and I'm just going to pop on some bronzer and some regular powder. So this is the Star Cosmetics. This is my skin color. So I'm just going to, you can close, you can do whatever. My eyes are too sensitive to like deal, so. I'm just gonna kind of sweep it under, try to get underneath as much as possible. And then I don't really need to powder anywhere else. My skin is fine. Um, and then for the blush, or some people use bronzer as blush, you know? Um, but you can kind of give yourself a little bit of a contour real quick and um, some definition in your face, maybe a little bit of a, like a little tan on your forehead and then down the sides of the nose underneath if you need it, depending on your nose shape. Don't do that if you have a really tiny nose already. Um, if you have a larger nose, you might wanna contour it with a smaller black brush, but I'm kind of okay with my nose. So that's pretty much it for that. And sometimes I'll use this as a um, shadow if I know that my eyes are gonna be watery or something. I'll just like pop on a little bit of the as like an eyeshadow. So again, I've used like three products and I used Lip Lux, that's what's on my lips, just in case you guys are wondering, but I'll keep these out. And then I'm using this um, blush just cause it's so easy to put on. This is the Oli Oli Oso. And why I love this is because look at how easy that was. You can just pat it in. You can also use the fat of your um, palm just to kind of give yourself a nice even flush and you could bring it on your lips if you wanted to quickly like do that this color for me doesn't do much 
but it's something. So if you have to run out of the house, like you could be good like this. I have to have mascara. So in five minutes, I just pretty much finished my face. Um, sometimes I like to go in and fill out my brows, but I just dyed them so that I could actually avoid um, having to do that. Where's my brow pencil? I like to brush them first because I got all sorts of gunk in them already from my foundation. And then this is the beauty counter. I've had this for like two years. I just love this one. It's like the color defined brow pencil and why I love it is because it's lighter than my hair. It doesn't look like a pencil. It just fills in. And this is like the light brown. I feel like obviously I have dark brown hair. This is my natural hair. So just a little bit to define my eyes is like perfect. And then um, this is a mascara. Actually, I'm going to use this other one that I've been in love with that just makes my lashes look so long. And it's this one. And then I always curl my lashes. So number one way to look awake is to curl your lashes. I always kind of like to clean it off if there's any gunk on it from yesterday. I don't want to get anything in my eye. And then just press hold, release, add a little bit more, press, hold, release. I still haven't even put on my nails. I haven't put on my earrings. I have a little bit more like prep work to do, but I figured, you know what? These ladies and gents have been asking. That is my curling iron. I just used the GHD curling iron. It took me five minutes to throw like eight curls in my hair because my hair is so fine and thin. Um, that is the only upside to having fine thin hair, I think. Um, so this is the Guide Beauty Mascara. And I'll try to get kind of close so you guys can see. And I always like to pull out my little handheld. It's over here. Um, because, oops, because then I can see. I like to look from under when I'm doing my lashes because I like them to be... I don't like super clumpy and I don't want to miss any because like I've, I mean, I put a serum, a growth conditioner on this morning and I'm like all about long lashes. And if I can do it naturally, I'd prefer that if um, like my lashes were having a bad month or something, but naturally my lashes are pretty good. Um, so this is the result of like whatever 30 seconds of application and I feel like that's pretty good and if I wanted to throw on a couple individual lashes or like one partial strip at the end I could still do that and get away with it. So with one application I don't even need to dip it again I can quickly do my other eye and I know that it's a total personal preference on whether or not you do your bottom lashes. I think it just depends on the look that you're going for, but I feel like 90% of the time I just do the top lashes because I don't wanna point down to my dark circles, right? You wanna have everything uplifted. If you have dark circles, you literally don't want an arrow pointing to them. And that's what um, one of my makeup teachers a long time ago taught me. And ever since she said that, I like don't really like adding it unless I do like all this shadow and I'm doing like a whole eye look. I just like to keep it simple and have like accentuate my really natural, beautiful lashes. Or like if I have a photo shoot or something, I'm like, okay, I can like edit the pictures. But like in general, if you like look at my face, you can still see the dark circles. So it's nice to kind of bring the attention away rather than like add something on top. So um, another thing that you can do or that I like to do when I do a look like this is add something bright, like a pop of color, but without like anything on my face. So, well, obviously um, my face, but um, without anything like, like this is like an old pencil I have that I like to do this with, but it's basically, you can use nude yellow, whatever you want to do. I'm like super like chill today. So I'm just going to do this nude one in my inner eye. So it brightened up my eye because I have redness going on from the allergies and stuff. And then um, I might just use some eye drops just to kind of give my eyes like a nice 
break a little boost and you can bring it underneath too like and like shade it out like if you really have darkness i don't know about you guys but like i haven't really been sleeping like the elections and like covid and just like i don't know I've, i had insomnia last night so i was just i was thinking about like literally my business for an hour like all these different things and um I was just like, oh, all these things I have to do. I haven't done this and I haven't done this and I haven't done that. And I was just like making myself crazy. And so I woke up and I like, even though I hit the sauna, I did a mask, I did a facial, I did all this stuff. I still look tired. Um, and I know you guys are probably like, you look fine. But I mean, I know me and I'm just critical, right? We're all critical of ourselves. So I keep putting stuff away. I want to take a picture after. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I love lip gloss. If you guys know me, I love lip gloss. And more recently, in the last year, I've been using lip liners. And I will tell you something. Lip liners make such a difference. So I like taking my tissue paper and Obviously, if you're wearing a mask, you know, you might need to, you don't need to do this. But if you're taking a cute selfie first, you kind of need to. I just like filling out my lips, okay? And then I feel like this is the quickest thing. So it's like something I always end up doing. And then this is the Honest Beauty lip and BFF, and then pop a little on each cheek, blend it out, gave myself some nice added color. And I obviously just did this step, but I said I would do my makeup in less than 10 minutes. It's been 12, I've been talking for three of it. So this is pretty much it, but I hope you guys like that like really quick, get ready with me makeup look. And if you are worried about getting lipstick in your mask, you can just uh, fold your little tissue paper in half and then blot after. And then you're gonna get way less uh, transferring when you put your mask on. So you could, and it, this is a matte, so I did that on purpose. I don't wanna add a gloss because I will, but I didn't want to if I'm going to be putting a mask on. And then I'm just gonna take my little hair things Okay, and that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna put in my new really pretty earrings from this amazing boutique, M Rose. I'm gonna pop these in. And there's actually a double backing on these. So there's like one and then there's a little extra, so extra protection with your mask. I think it's really important because I've lo I have lost one of my favorite earrings um, in LA, like right when COVID started, when I, well, I guess it wasn't right, but I was, you know, I had been sheltered indoors for months. And so by the time I actually got, went out and like was wearing a mask, I, I just completely, so just a hint kind of showing through See how stringy my hair is? Do you guys have any tips? I'm like dying. Um, so super, super cute. This lighting I feel like is really bad. So let me show you what natural light looks like. So that is artificial. It's expensive, but I've never liked the way that I looked in that lighting. Um, but as a makeup artist, um, this is like my outside. So, I keep hitting stuff, so don't give me a... Ugh. So this is what it looks like in the light. And I would say I did fine. I might have to... If this ever happens to you, it happens to everybody, but if it does, use a little brush or your finger and just kind of work in the product that built up. And then another thing you can do is... Um, you can add a little bit of a brightening. So I have lots of different stuff, but if you want it, like just add a teensy, teensy bit of brightener just right there. And it just gives you a nice added little 
subtle and you can bring it down. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. See you soon.